What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be installing some LED bulbs in the truck. This isn't any normal LED bulb. These are some Poster LEDs, which are these right here. And the cool thing about Poster is Poster sponsored this video and sponsored this giveaway. So a huge shout out to Poster. I will have a link down to where you can buy these headlights or shop for any more headlights for your vehicle because the set that I'm gonna be installing in my truck is a different size than what these are. These are, I believe, an H11. Yeah, these are an H11. We've got two H11s and I'm installing some 9007s in my truck. So you guys will be able to buy your own size or anything like that. But what's cool about this video is this is a giveaway. So these two sets of LEDs right here are going to be given away to two of you guys. And all you have to do, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and drop a comment down below. Every comment can be one entry, simple as that. So what I'm gonna do when it comes to a giveaway winner, once this video hits 300 likes, yes, that simple, 300 likes, that simple, all I have to do is like this video. So 300 people have to get entered in order to win these headlights. And every comment you drop down below can be a different entry because I'm going to be using a random comment generator. I'm gonna put the link to this video in a random comment generator. It's gonna generate all the comments and I'm gonna select two people from the comments to win these headlights. It's that simple. You don't have to buy anything, no stickers, no shirts, no hats, no nothing, no gimmicks. You just like, comment, and subscribe, and you're entered in to win. And you're not gonna have to pay shipping, anything. Once two people are selected, I will pay the shipping, get them shipped out to you, that simple. So as you guys know, I just bought this 1999 F250. We got the new headlights put in, and now that we have these put in, we need some LEDs for the inside of it. Because these halogen bulbs, they're just not it. They're not the Strat. I am going to be getting some LED switchbacks for right in here, and we're going to convert everything on this truck to LED. So let's start with some headlight bulbs. But first, I thought it would be a good idea to give you some nighttime footage. So I actually took this footage about a week ago. So go ahead and watch this. All right, so as you guys can tell, my headlights are on. Even with the, the street lights on, you can't really tell. I'm sorry if it's dark, but headlights are on and it is not very bright at all. So we gotta, we gotta make a change with that. And here's some high beams. Well, it does like nothing, like at all. I uh, just you can see a little bit farther. That, that's about all. But as you guys can tell, it is dark outside. Listen to the truck. Yeah, but it ain't very bright at all. All right, so since we got some houses in front of us, let's do the little high beam. Yeah, ain't ain't much there. So, 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 I say so a lot. We gotta fix that. But first, we need some turbo whistle. So as you can see, these things absolutely suck at night. They were even worse when I had my old headlights. If my, my old headlights were still in this thing, you'd absolutely not be able to see. I've actually had these bulbs since July. They sent them out to me for the OBS that I bought and then everything else didn't work with the OBS, but luckily the OBS and the Super Duty use the same bulb size. So we were able to reuse them in this truck, but I had been waiting till I got some headlight housings because the old headlight housings, LEDs would not have made a difference. It honestly might've made it worse as the brighter light with the distorted headlight kind of would have just sucked. So we got the new headlight housings in and life has just been hectic lately and I haven't been able to get the bulbs in, but we are finally, finally getting the bulbs in. So let's do that. In order to get the old bulbs out, there's a little twist cap that is right back in here that you just simply twist off and then your bulb can come out. It's actually super simple how these are designed. So let's work this a little bit. And there is our bulb. Pull this guy out. That simple. 
Now before we get to throwing in these new bulbs, let me just tell you guys, I've already opened this up and something that is very cool with Posker is open this up and we drop our little business card pamphlet down on the ground. Let's pick this back up, move this. They send you four T10 bulbs, which for whatever reason, I do not know, but T10 is the same as like 194 and everything. But they send you four of them, which I think is so cool. There's no extra charge. It doesn't say anything about it on there. They just send you four of them. So that's where these little LED bulbs right here came from when we installed these. I was going to install these headlights the same time we did the housings, but I wanted to make these their own video because we are doing a giveaway with them. And I wanted to, you know, just be nice to posture about that and make it solely about this because they were nice enough to send us out two more extra sets to give back to you guys. Okay, if we look at these what i think is so cool about these headlights is they have like this almost like wire loom material but it's it's color coded which i think is just so damn cool and you've got your little uh resistor thing right here and they've got the fan on the back of them and they send you some zip ties and adhesive strips if you wanted to mount this somewhere and they even send you freaking gloves like who does this they might not fit my ginormous hands but they send you gloves I'm, I'm gonna wear them i'm gonna wear them just for the sole fact that they sent them i feel like it's appropriate to wear the gloves in this video so we're gonna, we're gonna throw the gloves on both hands i feel like i'm about to rob a bank or something that's what i feel like right now but let's get these put in Okay, so you slide this piece through first, then the plug, and then you slide the headlight through, and let's get it fitted inside there. Well, that was actually really easy. Okay, now the truck is directly up against the, the F-150. Got it parked here in the driveway, and we've been working on the F-150. You guys will see that in a video very, very soon. Looking good, looking good. Compared to that, whatever that is, like barely even lights up the tail light. Now, let's see if the high beam function works because these are two in one headlights. Oh yeah, they actually work. Not to ramble on, but I had that issue in Michaela's car, my fiance. We had bought some headlight bulbs for her car close to four years ago. They were LED bulbs. I thought I was being really nice and buying them for her. And the issue with vehicles like this and her car is they only use one bulb for the high and low beam. And if you don't specifically look that up, you'll just get a standard bulb that doesn't have two different filaments in it. When you turn on the high beam, it just does nothing but send a different amount of current to the headlight and normally actually make it dimmer. So you run into that issue a lot and I made sure with Posker to get the correct bulbs for this truck and that way if you guys need anything like that you know that they sell them. These are all the different bulb sizes that they sell. Hopefully you guys can see that but we've got everything ranging from an H1 to a PSX 26 which I don't even know what the hell that is must go on a spaceship but let's jump over to the passenger side get it all taken care of and then get some nighttime shots for you guys what the hell is smoking I just about died good thing I was wearing this glove or else I'd be burnt because that headlight bulb was that hot that it melted my glove. <laughs> Stinks. <laughs> nice. Tried to tried to kill me. Look at that. That's all the, the glove that melted to it. Tried to kill me. Okay, so again, guys, just in case you didn't understand what I was talking about last time, let's slide our little piece through. And then once we get that through, we can take our plug and just push our plug through and your headlight has these little grooves that are in it and then there's the same grooves on the headlight holder and a thingy right there 
slides right into it. And then what these grooves do is locks it into the headlight and this little O-ring gasket right here will prevent moisture from getting inside your headlight. Honestly, I don't know if these gloves are helping or not. The glove is making the dang plug sli slippery. Slippery. Slippery and shit. There we go. That is all plugged up. Let's pull these gloves off. Honestly, I might... No, they're dirty. I was going to say I saved these for window tinting. Uh, but they got very dirty. Very fast. Garbage. Don't litter. Let's turn on both headlights. Make sure both work. Looking good. We got the one. And we got the two. Oh yeah, now we just need some switchbacks in there so it's lighting up white. We turn our turn signal on just have a bright amber light in there. That would look so good. And I might try and figure out a way if there's a way to tie this into a switchback because that would look pretty cool as well. And like I said, guys, go down in the description, go check out Posker. They have so many different sizes of headlights and everything. Just overall, a great company, and we will be able to see how well these look tonight. And I, you guys know, I'm talking highly about them now, but I thought it was so nice of them to reach out to me and want to send out three sets of headlights, one for myself. And they said I didn't even have to give these away on the channel. They said I could give them to a friend, but they were that nice to just give them out like that and i want to give back to you guys for liking the video subscribing to the channel and making it possible for me to do what i do so guys remember like comment subscribe it gets you entered in to win the headlights it's that simple as soon as we hit 300 lights i'm gonna go down and pick a random person from the comments so i mean if it hits 300 lights in the middle of the night you might still be able to get entered in but once once the giveaway is over the giveaway is over but we will do more in the future it's a a solid like uh 55 outside, so cold start. That sound never gets old. I cannot wait to build a tip for this thing. But I gotta buy an oven and I gotta buy some powder coat because I've got a powder coating done now thanks to my high Duramax. And we're gonna get an oven, put in the garage, and get some powder. And I'm gonna make my own custom tip for that. And we're fully powder coated and everything in the garage. And if all goes well, that will also be available to you guys. All right, let's get our little lap around the neighborhood so you guys can see just how bright these things truly are. Oh, I, I can already tell you how much better this is. Wow. Still a high beam action. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. Like, do you see the difference in this? This is unreal. This actually makes a difference. I'm, I'm ecstatic right now. Like, this is fantastic. This is the whole reason I was waiting to do this until I got new headlight housings because I knew it would not make a good video with my old headlight housings. My old headlight housings would absolutely ruin these LEDs. I mean, it wouldn't like ruin them like structurally or anything, but like they would not put out the light they are now with my old headlight housings. So this looks sick. Next thing we need to do is convert all the bulbs on the exterior to LED, that being brake lights, reverse lights, my turn signals, and then I'm gonna do the interior. So we started with that one. We have two more bulbs we have to replace in there. We have to do that back one. I'm gonna do my dash as well. And then I'm thinking the next thing I wanna do, like actual mod wise, is a Starlight headliner. So the headliner is actually pretty worn out on this thing and it, it needs to be done. So that is, that is definitely what's next on the bucket list is the headliner. So guys, remember, if you want to get entered in to win the Posker LED bulbs, even if you can't use them, resell them, give them to a friend, whatever, it's free completely to you. They're H11 bulbs, so they might fit in your fog lights. They might fit 
turn signals, headlights, I don't know what they fit on your vehicle, but if you want to get entered in to win, drop a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and drop a comment down below. Every comment is one entry. Once this video hits 300 likes, I will pick two random people from the comments to win these, and then I'll either message you, email you, whatever. It'll be announced in a video. So you guys can reach out to me on Instagram, whatever, prove who you are, and then I will get them sent out to you. So guys, thank you for watching this video, and thank you again to Poster for getting these bulbs sent out to me and giving two to give away to you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.